VIP bust down, jumping off the wrist. Republicans on the plane, mugging on a bitch. Making white man money, so these white folk piss. What's up, you guys? It's Alyssa here, back with another YouTube video. What's up? And you know, today's YouTube video, we're going to be talking about high school advice. So what you need to know before going to high school and what you need to know. I know I'm late. School has already started, but it's still fall. So, you know, anybody who's going to high school next year, you need this video. You need to learn. It's, it's just the stuff that you need. Before I get right into this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's get right into this video. So... First things first is I want to explain to you high school is nothing like high school musical. That's what everybody else tell you. You already know this. High school is nothing like what it is inside the movies. It's nothing like that at all. High school is basically just like a roller coaster, to be honest. That's that's basically what it is. And it's rough. You know, it's ups and downs, like I said. But you know, at the end of the day, you learn what you learn, you learn your lessons from it, and you move on throughout your life. But first thing we're gonna talk about is the first day of school. So first day of school, everybody wanna get hip, everybody wanna get hippity hop, you know, get their nails done, their hair done, boys wanna come in with the fly kicks and all this and that. But you know, um, first day of school is just like a regular day for the up, upperclassmen. And you're gonna learn that throughout high school. Once you hit like your sophomore year, or um, even your freshman year, you may learn in the first day of school that honestly, it's really just like another day of school for most kids. Most kids are just like, oh man, I'm here again. That's it. <laughs> That's really what they be like, honestly, to be honest. Like a lot of people don't get hyped about the first day of school. But anyways, let me explain. Like the first day of school, when you, first of all, I wanna say is go to your open house. If you don't go to your open house, then you're going to be on the first day of school looking lost, like where are my classes, what do I need, what this and that. I mean, on the first day of school, the teacher's going to tell you already what you need, but at the end of the day, like, honestly, it's just going to be like all a whole bunch of a mess up, like it's going to be hard for you. So if you can, try your best to go to your open house so you can get your schedule, know what classes you're taking, know what you got, and this and that. So it's best for that. Also get a school map because most likely your high school will be big. If you don't have a big high school, then good for you. You are lucky. But most high schools are big and you know, it's a lot of classes you're going to be going to. So you're going to be lost and confused. So it's best for you to get a map so you can look at the map and be like, okay, this is my class. This is where I need to go before you be around school looking asking everybody like okay where is class at where is class at uh it's going to be administrators around to help you to find where your classes are but it's best if you have a map so you have to deal with all that chaos that's going to be going on on the first day of school next thing you do not lead a lot of a lot of things on the first day of school you do not lead a lot of school supplies unless you have a teacher who is real strict and she wants you to have or she or he wants you to have your school supplies on the first day of school then bring it but other than that most likely you're not going to need a lot of stuff on the first day of school just pencil and paper that's pretty much all you're going to need and then the teacher's going to give you your school supply list on the first day of school as well so that's pretty much that's all and um, like i said if you have a teacher that's that's real strict and a person who's just like you know we're going to have this down pack on the first day of school we're going to start working because i've had teachers like that as well then yeah I'll go ahead and bring what you're supposed to bring next thing the lunch now for most schools the high school that i was at they say please bring your lunch on the first day of school and i would recommend that unless you want to be waiting in a long behind line a long line then I suggest you bring a lunch. But unless your school, like I said, is smaller or unless you have friends or whoever, then go ahead and just wait in a lunch line, experience what the lunch, um, what they have for lunch and different items and the different choices that they have. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. But some schools are very big and they suggest that you bring your own lunch on the first day of school because the line gets hectic and i've seen lines that would be like hanging out the door be so many kids and because high schools are big so you know it's best that you just try to bring your own lunch on the first day of school if you are able to that's a lesson that i learned so if your school is different then yeah i'm just giving my insight that's one thing i want to say to disclaimer this is the experience that i've had in high school but you may not experience this so i'm just giving some a little bit of advice and some insight and some tips next thing that i want to talk about is friends and bullies 
and all this type of stuff by trying to compare yourself to other people all this and that this is where you get into the good stuff into the deep stuff okay so first thing i want to talk about is friends so on your freshman year of high school trust me you may make a lot of friends if you don't then it's okay but if you do make a lot of friends that is expected you guys are all new and you know what i am encouraging you to make friends meet new people mingle talk do all these different type of things you know i had me own little clique when i was a freshman so you know make so many different types of friends meet new people talk and you know um interesting things about each other um exchange ideas and all this type of thing. meet up in classes and you know hang out after school um attend football games like live your best life your freshman year of high school because you're going to realize that your sophomore your junior year and maybe even your senior year it's not gonna be that easy especially with homework and college applications and if you get a job and all this type of stuff it's gonna be difficult so freshman year is usually like one of the easiest years of high school some people it wasn't for me it was kind of hard some classes you know you take ap classes and all these different standardized tests so make sure that you try your best to enjoy your high school life in general period but when it comes to friends like i said try your best to make friendships because friendships are something that can last a long time but there are going to be some things like fake friends or friends who don't want to be your friend no more there's going to be drama trust me i've dealt with drama too and I, honestly I, all i can say is don't try your best not to get into drama if you do don't pay attention to it don't get deep into it just let it go and realize that it's a part of high school it's a part of the high school experience so try your best to not get so upset and all caught up in it because at the end of the day it happened and it does happen and it's just something that just you know, they're just they're just what happens. Next thing that I wanna say is bullies. So there are gonna be some people in high school who are gonna think that they're better than someone or there are gonna be some big bullies in high school or people who are just gonna pick on you for no apparent reason. Don't listen to them. They're haters. Haters. Like I said, you ain't got no haters, you ain't pop. I know that's an old thing. I know it's kind of corny for me to say in this video, but I'm going to say it anyways. But honestly, it's going to be a lot of haters in high school. They're going to be people who just don't like you for no reason. When I say no reason, no reason. If they do have a reason, at the end of the day, it's not really a reason. Because it's honestly, it's not something that they should be worried about. But they're worried about you. So you know what you popping. You know you got it going on. So honestly, just try their best to just ignore it and just don't really get, like I said, all caught up about it, all worked up about it, and don't try your best to deal with it unless it's something really serious. And of course, go to an adult or go to your parent or your guardian, of course, something like that. But try your best not to get yourself all worked up about it because at the end of the day, there are just people who just pick on you. But if you do get yourself all worked up about it, like I said, it's part of the experience. You're eventually you're growing. You're eventually you grow into that confidence, into loving yourself and knowing that you're a beautiful person, that you matter, you're more important than that bully and more important than what that person might say about you. So honestly, like, honey, just chill and you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Okay. Next thing that I want to talk about is comparing yourself to other girls. Realize when you go into high school that it's going to be comparison. It's going to be girls that want to be like this girl and that girl. I'm talking about my females out here. It's going to be, you're going to do, it's going to be sometimes when you feel like you need to be like this popular girl. And that's one thing I want to talk about is popularity. Like that stuff is not going to matter when you graduate. That's one thing I want to say. When you become a senior, when you graduate, you leave high school, when you become an adult, none of that stuff is not going to matter. Nobody's going to care about who's gonna become this and that i mean you're gonna care if you were homecoming queen you were this and that that's gonna be your memories so you're gonna care about your memories but if you're it's like it's not gonna be that as a rebel as well it's not gonna be as relevant as you think it is the things that happen like the bad things whether you you had food thrown on you on a certain day like those things are irrelevant people are not really going to remember that or pay attention to that like honestly you can let those things go because when you become an adult you're going to be popping you're going to be having it going on you're going to be doing your thing and all this and that so honestly do not worry about the things that the bad things don't focus on the negative focus on the positive you know so try your best to just not really focus on anything negative or anything like that pretty much just live your best life when you go into high school
live your best life. When I mean that, I mean live your best life when you are in high school. Do not try your best not to worry about the haters or the negativity or this and all that. Try your best not to worry about it because at the end of the day, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. It's not worth it. It's really not. Like, honestly, you really have to look at the big picture and be like, okay, like, am I gonna sit up here? I'm really worried about this person hating on my hair when I know I love it. And I'm gonna sit up here and really worry about somebody that doesn't like my shoes and I know I like it and I picked it out. I'm gonna sit up here who doesn't like me and I got straight A's and they don't like me because I have straight A's but that is such a big accomplishment. Like honestly, y'all be gonna sit up here and like don't do not do that to yourself because you are an amazing person. Like I always say, you are wonderful, you are beautiful, you are a beautiful person. You were meant to be here on this earth. You are great, greatness is coming for a life. Like I always say, greatness is coming and yeah. So you guys, that's all I have for this video today. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Please stop.